Okay, now, since I've had this truck, it has been back to the dealership twice, okay? Once there was a vibration in the front end that I felt. They tried telling me it was just the tires. I knew it wasn't the tires, the brand new tires they put on it. Um, and they looked into it more and found out the alignment was off and they had a bad tie rod end on the front passenger side. They fixed that, I left the dealer. I got a couple miles down the road and I called them. I said, my brakes are pulsating. So I went back, they looked at it, they said, definitely a brake issue. They said, next Wednesday, bring it back, drop it off uh, seven in the morning, we'll give you a rental car and they'll go through it. They went through it and they found out the rotors were warped in the back. They put new rotors on it. Now the truck's smooth as can be. I picked the truck up from there and drove it down the road and dropped it off at another dealership where they put the new plow on it. Now I know I said originally I was just gonna get a mount and a harness for the front of this truck so I could swap the Western back and forth, but I got a smoking deal because of Spencer Lilly over at Bow Enterprises, which I've been in a bunch of his videos lately, and uh, you guys know who he is and we did the interview with him. Uh, he buys all of his plows from this place, um, tons and tons of them. So uh, he got me a really good deal that I couldn't pass up. So. A new plow is in order. I'll show you that. We'll talk about it and uh, we'll go over why I went with what I went with. But in the meantime, I also ordered a bunch of stuff for this truck to, you know, make it my own. But unfortunately, some parts came in and the mounting hardware came in on a separate day and it was back and forth. So I finally just picked the truck up from the place that had a new plow put on it and I put other stuff on it. Um, now mind you, this truck is very dirty. So when Billy and I go to the gym today after that, I'm flying over the car wash to get it washed. But disregard the dirt let's go over all of the accessories that i put on it some i put on by myself and uh some on billy's help and uh actually i didn't put anything out by myself well billy just helped me finish up the last two things spencer helped me do one thing in the freezing cold mind you our uh, nose pickers were frozen and uh but we got it done in the dark with uh lights under the truck and and uh and got it done and froze and then ross Roscoe, who you guys know from all my fall cleanup videos, helped me with a couple other things. So let's get into that right now. What do you say, Billy? Can we get let's into it? it? Let's do it. Okay, so as you guys know, all you that have seen the truck, um, here was my first issue with it. Now, a lot of these trucks, everybody takes a grill plate out that goes right in there, and they put 12-inch LED light bars in there. There's actually GM-made brackets to put 12-inch LED light bars in there. So um, I'm the second owner of the truck. The guy that had it before me must have done that because the bracket or the plate wasn't in there uh, when I got the truck, so I ordered one. And this is what I ordered. Billy just helped me put this in. I don't know well you guys see this on camera but it's all engraved american flag with a star and the stripes and it's a nice black flat panel pretty sweet i love it okay so that being said spencer helped me put on these new they're all dirty right here like i said the truck needs washed spencer helped me lay in the cold and put on these new step bars they're like nerf running board bars are called they're made by a company called tiger and so Spencer helped me put these on, on both sides. Ryan Roscoe helped me put in the new in-channel rain guards on both sides so they're not stuck to the outside like on my other truck. This is a new style. Billy and I just put the new back rack on. The new back rack did not come with the hardware that came separate, so that's what I was waiting on. So we got the new back rack on. And I'll show you this other thing, Billy. Start the truck up. This is something I wanted on my other trucks and I never had. So, Ready? yep. All right, Billy, turn on the left blinker. That's the right, but okay. There's the left blinker, the bar light in there. Right blinker. Turn the blinkers off. Step on the brakes. Okay, keep your foot on the brake and put it in reverse. And white LED, red and white all the way across for when you're in reverse. So full LED bar all the way across. Okay, you can shut the truck off. So that is the accessories that have gone on the truck. Now let's get to what you guys are waiting for. You guys want to know what kind of plow I put on this truck, don't you? Well, any of you that have been following me for a long period of time, you'll know that I've never, ever wanted to get one of these plows. As a matter of fact, I said I will probably never get one, but I did, and I'll show you why. 
So here it is. It is the eight and a half foot wide VXF Snow Dog V Plow. This is the new plow. Snow Dog. All the way across. I do not need wings on this plow like my other plows. I went to a company called Niagara Truck Equipment. That's where I got it from. And this is the new plow. Some of you may have already figured it out when I was showing the front of my truck and you saw the mount. But this is it. It is eight and a half foot wide, big boy. Especially compared to my seven and a half foot wide Western with my custom wings on there. Okay, so let's talk about why I went with this plow. Now, I always said, and I still am a firm believer, let me set you down here. I still am a firm believer that if you are plowing parking lots, I will take a straight blade with wings any day. And people have argued this with me to the end of time. I really don't care. This is my opinion. And in my experience, this is just it, okay? When I'm carrying snow across the parking lot, if I have, I have that eight and a half foot plow, okay? When I bring the wings in in a scoop mode on that V-blade, I am taking about a foot and a half of the width away from it, right? When I have my seven and a half foot a straight blade with my wings, it puts me at over eight foot. I'm carrying snow across that parking lot, but I keep the same width the whole way. I can carry more snow further. I know people will argue with that, and I don't care. This is my opinion, and it's my video. So I'm telling you that that's my personal opinion. If I was doing a lot of parking lots, I would still take a, a straight blade with wings any day or like a Western wideout. Uh, everybody makes a, a version of the wideout now. They just call it something different. That's Western's name. But I have to have wings. I can't plow with a regular straight blade. A lot of people that drop and back drag out of driveways and push it up at the end of the driveway, which is very common. No problem with a straight blade, just a plain straight blade. But most of my driveways, as you guys have seen in my plowing videos, I push straight up and off to the side. And I lift the blade when I go off the side and push it all up in their grass or off to the side somewhere. Well, when you're pushing up and you turn, if you have a straight blade, you're, you have snow falling off the edge every time. So I have to have wings on my plows because of the way that I plow. Now, that being said, I do get a little bit of restriction on the long driveways I do where I have the plow angled and I'm just wind rolling, throwing off the side. I do get a little bit of restriction because of the way I've designed the wings on my straight blade. And there's many times where I just wish those wings weren't on there, but then there's a lot of times where I need them. So what I have decided to do was going with a V blade, when I'm doing those driveways and I can push straight in and off to the side, I can just put it in scoop mode and right off and it's just like having my wings but when I need that straight blade I just open it right up angle it and I can throw it right off the edge of the blade so it's benefiting me in both ways also the huge benefit of having this is that's normally I, I think the retail on that plow was around seven grand um, it's end of year model and it was a display model okay so uh, or a demo model they called it and by demo model is they took it off the crate they put it together put it on their showroom floor as a display therefore they couldn't sell it as retail so i got the plow installed for 4400 bucks out the door okay so that was a smoking deal i couldn't walk away from it i just it it was just an amazing deal and uh because of spencer uh lily from bow enterprises buying all her stuff there he knows them out there they gave me a great deal on it and i just couldn't walk away from it so um, ultimately what I think I'm gonna end up doing we'll see as time goes I'm in no hurry to do this um, I might just end up taking the Western off which is only a couple years old take that Western off um, the 05 and taking the mountain the harness off of that and just putting a mountain a harness on the front of that 05 for the snow dog and then I can just switch the snow dog between trucks not totally sure what I'm gonna do yet that's just a thought in my mind but that's why I went with the v-blade it'll serve my purpose all the way around and it uh, for scooping and going and for just wind rolling snow um, I think it's gonna be an awesome plow all the way around and I couldn't pass up on the price so that's the plow that's all the upgrades I've done to this truck so far I really don't have any other things in mind to do to it um, I'll probably wind up doing something with either a light bar or some type of strobes on it for when I do need it for plowing but that's the truck now, that's the update. Um, stay tuned, I posted that mower for sale like I did in the last video, the Walker B, and people just started going nuts. I have a guy that's like six hours away right now who's willing to make me a trade. He got a hold of me and offered it to me, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this trade if it works out the way I think. If not, 
you know, no big deal. And uh, I'll just continue to leave it up for sale until I end up selling it or trade for something I want. But he offered me something I really wasn't looking for, and uh, but it could benefit us greatly. And I'm excited about that. So that's to come. But I wanted to update you guys on everything that I've done to this truck, all of the accessories, everything I've put on it so far, and uh, let you guys know about that new plow. But that'll be it. And uh, till the next one, since Billy's here and he hasn't been here a long time, uh, go ahead and close this video out, Billy. Do you remember? It's been a long time. Um. Oh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, button, leave a thumbs up, and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.